There she is, our armored Vapid Speedo Custom. And let's go over to this computer here. Hop into my company. Dirty laundry cleanup. <laughs> All kinds of dirty laundry around Los Santos. Needs cleaning every day. <laughs> all right. So, here's the problem. Sell all goods. You need to purchase the Mule Custom Delivery Vehicle from Warstock Cash and Carry Com in order to sell a shipment of this size. Hmm. Problem that we're going to solve today. <laughs> all right. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Winston Sock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. And here we are down in uh, basement level one of the nightclub warehouse. And we've got enough stock that we can do a medium sized sell. So I think we might do that. Yeah, let's have a quick look before we order our new mule custom and get right into that. So when it comes to selling goods inside your warehouse, your uh, van, your um, uh, Speedo custom can only carry up to 90 crates. So you, in order to sell any more than 90 crates, you need a bigger sell vehicle. And the two other sell vehicles that are available are the mule custom and the MTL pounder custom, as we're going to see. Now, here's all the stuff I happen to have at the moment. Now, just so you guys know, you do not need a mule custom. You do not need the MTL pounder. You can get by with just the van that comes free with the nightclub. And you would just select these things and sell them and sell that much or sell what you need to from there. As long as it wasn't more than 90, your, your van can take it. Now, obviously that means you're going to be doing more missions, but the profit is the same. So you don't have to worry about losing any money for doing smaller or bigger sales or anything like that. So the profit's the same, um, unless you do these special orders down here. Now these special orders down here, which with a bigger, um, bigger vehicle, you can obviously do the other bigger ones more often, right? Now with the, uh, with these special orders, you get an extra 10% bonus on anything you sell. Which is kind of weird because it doesn't really tell you that I've noticed anywhere. I've look, had to look it up that it does give you an extra 10% by people who, who do the math on these things. But, uh, but it doesn't really tell you anywhere when you're doing it, as far as I know. So, these, these are generally the better, better recommended way of doing it wherever possible, the special orders. And then you make that extra 10%. And then Tony's 10% cut, Tony, the, your investor with the nightclub, Tony Prince, he takes a 10% cut of any of your um, earnings, which is kind of expensive. And he'll take that 10% cut all the way up to a million dollar sale. So $100,000. Now, just so you guys know, one advantage to the bigger cells that go above a million dollars is that Tony's cut is no longer applied because it only goes up to a million dollars. So if you happen to sell bigger, you know, 1.3 million, I think the biggest sell you can do is around 1.6 million. Um, then uh, Tony's uh, uh, cut only applies for the first 1 million. So you can save some money over time doing that. All right, so let's hop out of there. So basically, as long as you're fine with doing the smaller missions, you can just keep your van and, and keep doing them as you need to. And you might be able to do some of the smaller special orders. I usually do any of the ones that are, say, above 60,000 or something like that. But uh, if you want to get into the bigger cells, um, you need to get yourself the, uh, the Mule Custom and then for the largest cells, the MTL Pounder. So the Mule Custom can take uh, 91 to 180 crates. We're going to go over the home screen. So the home screen is the easiest way to tell. Right here, we've got our total stock. So I've got 175 crates right now out of a possible 216. I'm going to buy the uh, rest of the warehouses shortly. So, so you, that can be increased from there. But the part that matters is this part here, how much stock you have. So up to 90 will go in your van. And then from 91 to 180 will go in the, in the, um, the mule custom. So we're going to get one of those. And then from there, from uh, the uh, um, 180 to 360, it goes in the MTL pounder. Yeah, if you happen to have one available. So it looks like I'm just slightly... Uh, oh no, yeah, I'm just under the limit right now. So it's a good time for us to get our meal custom before it asks me for the MTL Bounder, like I just said. All right, so let's pop out of here. There we go. So you bring up your, your phone or any other means of internet, go to Warstock Cash and Carry, and this is where you find the cell vehicles if you want to get the upgraded ones. And there's the Pounder Custom, the large vehicle, and the Mule Custom, part of After Hours. Seats four. So that's two in the cab, and you can have two people hanging on the outside, just so you know. It's a little bit more unprotected, but you can still carry four people. Mule Custom for 72000 Now that's because I've got the trade price. Normally it's 90 only. It's still either way cheap, though. It's uh, $95,760. Uh, yeah, 95760 
So that's what it normally costs. Uh, once you've done five cell missions with your van or otherwise, um, then it, it brings it down to 72,000. So much, not much of a sale, not much of a discount for the trade price, but something. All right, Mule Custom, abandon your prejudices. This is not a delivery truck. It's a blank canvas. Somewhere you can create a thundering juggernaut of modern urban warfare, spitting missiles, machine gun fire, proximity mines, and grenades at every turn, covered in near impregnable armor, the terrifying spearhead of your new business empire, cup holders not included. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to buy it now. But like I said, you can keep just the van or even just the van and the MTL Pounder for big cells. It's up to you guys. So some people, this is the least favorite of the cell vehicles. Um, generally, people speaking, a lot of people like the van, you know, being that you have to use these vehicles and not much choice. But a lot of people do like the van and uh, the MTL Pounder's mixed, but a lot of people like that. So this is the least favorite vehicle, just so you guys know, used for the medium sales. Buy it now. All right. Delivered to our nightclub garage shortly sold all right perfect so you don't need any parking for it and that's another advantage it just goes right under your nightclub so you do need a nightclub obviously for the cell vehicles and then it comes down here to uh, b level uh, business level one <laughs> basement level one got enough stock here to make selling worthwhile boss hey all right well that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do our first sell hi. by mule custom we'll do Will do once I get out into the outside world myself. <laughs> with our new truck, hopefully. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the Speedo Custom. But now I'm getting into some of the bigger cells. All right, so while we wait for that to appear, it should be any moment now. I would also say that, um, uh, you know, a little off topic, but, uh, and I don't usually do this, uh, you know, uh, this is a little bit of an AFK tip, you know, away from keyboard. Um, some people like to leave their computer on and doing stuff and make money that way. And generally speaking, for Grand Theft Auto V, I don't consider that a cheat or a glitch or anything like that because you're running the game, you bought the game, you're you're you know running it and all that stuff. If you're comfortable doing that and paying the power and all that stuff, I, I don't think it's really a cheat or anything. So to me, anyway. Um, but yeah, basically, um, with the nightclub here, you you can always uh, leave it running. And uh, basically how you go AFK without being kicked out of the game is you can look on your security screens, which are many spots. Any of those computer screens let you look at the computers, uh, the security screens. As well, you can also watch the DJ as well on those screens. And uh, that will not kick you out from the, uh, from the game. Now, some people actually, actually recommend um, going into a contact mission. You know, a simple contact mission of some sort, whether or not you ever finish it or not. And you would leave it sitting like that because that way, and sitting in your office watching something. That way you don't have to worry about uh, any business, uh, like any any uh, bills showing up while you're in the contact mission, and uh, many other problems like that are eliminated. There we go. Yep. So some people might leave it like that for hours while they're watching a, a movie or something, or go to bed, and then they come back and find a whole bunch in their nightclub here. Back to finishing that point. Now I personally don't do that because I don't trust my, my I don't trust leaving my guy here all by himself. <laughs> but uh, but you know there's nothing wrong with doing that. And I find I'm already online enough, you know, doing other things. And while you're doing that, the nightclub's making money anyway. So it's not a big deal. All right. More on that maybe on another video one day. So there she is in stock. All right. So just so you guys know, like all the cell vehicles, at least at the current time, it's uh, despite all the armor that you're going to see. And like this van, it only takes one RPG. So basically it has no real armor protection. Uh, well, a single shot from an RPG will blow it up, the van, or this truck as well. And the MTL Pounder. But on the cell missions, when you're doing the cell missions for the, uh, the nightclub, the armor is actually working during those missions and increased. And generally speaking, it takes a ton. I think this one's like something like eight RPGs or more you can take. And this one's a lot more. I think it's 12, 16. I can't remember the ton for the other missions. It's hard to test because the only way to test it is during the cell missions. And you have to blow up your own stock to do it. So I don't know if I'm going to test that. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. But basically during the cell missions, they are heavily armored. Outside of that, when you're driving it around in a regular free roam, they are weak and vulnerable vehicles. That said, a lot of other vehicles, like this one, uh, is comparable to Weaponized Tampa, and the Weaponized Tampa can only take one RPG too. So in many ways, this is a, a cheaper version of the Weaponized Tampa that you can drive around. And it's about the same damage resistance as it would have. All right, guys, moving on. Mule Custom. Yeah, my, my Batu Mule Custom. Commercial truck. Access the vehicle workshop. So I'm not going to bother taking it in stock. I'd suggest recommending and upgrading it for you guys because uh, it's for selling and making money, right? Armor plating. Light armor plating. Cool. Reinforced. 
Riot armor. Cool. Heavy armor plating. All right, I think we're gonna go with the heavy on this one again. So this armor doesn't really matter normally, but during the cell missions, it does start to work. And these are different levels, so you do actually get increased um, resistance to uh, RPGs and things like that as you go up. Another thing about this one is that this front scoop does actually help to clear some cars away. It's not, not as good as some other armored vehicles, but it does make a difference. It does crash through better than most vehicles, better than the regular mule would. And uh, having this front scoop on there does make it a little bit better, too, for pushing cars out of the way. So I'm going to get that. Yeah, there was an issue with the, the uh, laying of the mines, but as far as I know, um, Rockstar's fixed that. But I'm not going to actually put mines for the horn in this one anyway. Just because I find I blow myself up sometimes. I use my horn too much. Race brakes, 35,000. Engine, level 4, 33,500. All right, horn, standard. Torque horn. Let's hear the standard horn. <laughs> I think I'm going to give it the truck horn. The standard one does sound appropriate, but the truck horn sounds just a little tougher, so we'll go with that. Headlights. See on lights for 7,500. All right, liveries. Should we have a look at those first? Or should we get it painted? Mm. Yeah, maybe give it a paint job. Looks like our armor plating covers up a lot of the liveries anyway. So if you want to see the liveries, you want to have... Uh, regular armor plating by the looks of it. That's okay though. I don't buy it for the livery anyway. I buy it for making money. You can see a lot of it uh, on the cab anyway. Yeah. Cool. It's only unlock ones. Well, I think I'll come back to that in just a moment. So that's some of the libraries for what you can see anyway. Some of those are unlocked from the bunker research just so you guys know. So we'll give it our plate, missing sock plate. There we go. Yellow and black. All right, much better. Transmission, race transmission for 40,000. <laughs> it doesn't even rev up. Showed a tiny increase. Turbo tuning for 50,000. Better acceleration. All right, windows, limo tint for 5,000. Okay, now let's see, wheels. Bulletproof tires and custom burnout smoke. Hmm. Tire enhancements, bulletproof tires. So it looks like on this one you cannot change any rims or anything like that. But you can make a bulletproof tires for 25,000. So I'll do that. that tire smoke. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with the black tire smoke, but maybe I'll wait for a moment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We'll get it. All right. So weapons. Now, the proximity mine, that's not what I'm going to get. As I said, that changes your horn to a proximity mine, which can be useful because basically you get two weapons at once. So you have the weapon that you can normally use, plus you'll have the uh, access to press the horn and drop a mine behind you. But I find I blow myself up, as I said. <laughs> so in this one, you've got a primary and secondary. It's kind of cool. Machine guns at the front, much like the cars have, like the revolter and things like that. War missiles, front launch missiles. Watch you don't blow yourself up. Hmm. Well, I think I'll get missiles. 205,000. Secondary weapons. Remote grenade launcher. All right. 285,000. And apparently that does actually move around and you can actually fire off grenades. But again, you have to watch out that you don't blow yourself up, which is very common. So 285,000 for that. So that's almost like 500,000 weapons right there. Hopefully I won't be using them very much, really. But better to have them than not to have them, I suppose, in the middle of a cell mission, especially if you're on your own. Okay. So not really much in the way of options, is there? Really, like, there's the armor plating, and I suppose it's a custom version all by itself. But there's not really much else beyond the normal stuff from there. Hmm. Well, let's get into the respray. Primary color. Let's see what it looks like in chrome. <laughs> You can barely tell, actually. So I imagine with a different armor plating, it would different, give it much, uh, quite a bit of different looks. That shines it up a little bit. Some matte colors. There's black, and grays, and whites, blues, reds, oranges. Yeah, they don't give us much in the way of views in, in this garage. 
Black's not bad. Metallic. So I can't really paint that armor, so I think I might just go with a mean looking black or maybe, um, yeah, something like that. Maybe something like a beige. It's kind of plain looking though, but a bit of incognito to it, a bit of military incognito look. That highlights all the pieces in white. Hmm. Yeah, maybe instead of the beige, we'll give it a little bit of color and we'll go, or well, not color, but character. We'll go with the black, a little bit darker. So black metallic, no secondary color or anything, just one color and that's it. And the uh, pearlescence does not seem to really affect the armor plating as I'd hoped. I was hoping that you'd see a little bit of shine off the whole thing, but nope. Nope, not at all. Hmm. That is too bad. Yeah, maybe a bit of a blue. Let's see what ultra blue looks like. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of character in the darkness, a little bit of a blue shine. I don't know why blue, I just think blue. An ultra blue on the pearlescence just helps it to stand out, because there's really not a lot to see on this one. Now, before I added that livery, armor plating, just so you guys can see the difference in looks now, that it's in black, and uh, with, with that blue pearlescence, you can see that you can see a lot more of it with the other armor plating. So if you want a good look, you might want with the light or the reinforced. Otherwise, go with the heavy if you're going, if you're thinking protected. And I think protected. You know, you're not really using it as a show mule anyway, right? Hopefully, you're not digging this to car meets. So let's see. Um, 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 library. I don't really need a library. That's just really wasted money. But I like things with a little character. Yeah, I actually like some of these ones, as I've said before in other videos. Some of these ones that kind of hide, you know, when you come up on them, you don't really see it. But when you get close, you can see the uh, the details of the different libraries. So it gives it, a, the, gives it a tiny bit of detail, tiny bit of texture. On certain ones that hide. These ones stand out, but these ones hide. Three color outline, I've used that before. I think it kind of looks nice as one of those hidden ones that I was just talking about. That's uh, Arid Theater. I think that's similar to the one... Not the same one we used on the van over there. Yeah. Could go with that, it's not bad. Winter Camel. Urban Warrior. Nature Reserve. That's for if you're taking this on Jurassic Park trips. <laughs> Naval Battle. Urban Geometric. I might go with that one again. I've used that somewhere else before too, maybe the APC. Coyote Geometric. Large Geometric. Naval. It's not bad. Desert. Urban. Large. Medium Digital. Small Digital. And the Pink and Green Camel that I unlocked a little while ago. Sasante Nova. Multicolor. This is very multicolor. <laughs> All right, so like I said, the livery is just kind of a waste of money, but it does add a little bit of detail. I liked a few of those, actually. That gives a nice military look, the medium digital, even with the armor. The urban fractal actually stands out not bad. So does the uh, uh, the desert fractal and the navel and the winter winter camel is in here somewhere. Yeah, winter camel, yeah. And the one we've already used before here at theater. But I think I might go with something like that large geometric. Just because it has those little bolts in it. And the navel's tempting too. Yeah, but it has those little metallic looking bolts in it. So it kind of adds character to the rest of it. I don't know, you can barely see them, but they're, they're in the details of it. Maybe the Urban Warrior, they show better. Little dots in the, uh, in the library. Yeah. I 
do like the color on that one, though. Yeah, I think large geometric. A little bit of urban camo. 27,930. Okay. So, that is our library. And I think we looked at the different armors. I think that's about it. I really wish I could change those, uh, the wheel colors. It'd be nice if they at least let us color the wheels, right? But they do not. Yeah. No options for that. And the bulletproof tires, you'd think that'd be coming standard, but it did not. Hmm. Another vehicle with dual tires, though. I still wish they'd give us those for pickup trucks, the double tires there. They are available. They are right here in this this truck. So it'd be nice if we could ever get a truck with those kinds of options. All right, out we go. All right, there she is. get some more warehouse room <laughs> so like I said in normal free roam it's not very armored like it would be on a middle in the middle of a mission unless oh nearly missed him <laughs> but yeah not the best handling not the best acceleration but it does have some push around capabilities in missions I would say more than others and the stock wheel does look more uh, chrome now that I'm out and about than it does look in the uh, in the garage there. Oh, I think I've seen it there. Oh, missiles. And somewhere in there, there should be my other one on there. Now hopefully I can not blow myself up. Nice. That's got a good fire rate, I think. So that's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, so it's got a great fire rate. For the uh, front-loading missiles, even though they're terrible and you can't aim them. And you're probably going to blow yourself up if you're not careful. Especially if you're not on a mission. But they are very useful in the sense of being able to uh, fire many missiles fast at your enemies. Now, how do I access that grenade launcher? Shit! Yeah, and like the other uh, van that we tested out before, it does have armored uh, windows as well, by default. Well, let's just get a regular pistol in there, as you guys can see. So, usually it takes about, uh, it depends on the weapons and the ammunition used, but it usually can take about a half round, half clip of a uh, assault rifle, so about 15 rounds. Two or three from a sniper rifle. Yeah, there, once you see that crack, then it's, then it's gone. Then your protection is gone. But until then, you're protected. Yeah. Let's just go to that. See? Their life would be saved. It's still saved. Wow. That's a few shots. Not anymore, though. So, three full shots on the fourth one it got through. So, that, that's kind of nice. So, you do have some basic protection there. Not much, but uh, but some basic uh, armor protection. Again, I wish that we could put this on other cars, you know, just as an option. Some uh, some armor-plated armor glass. That'd be great. Now, how do I access the grenade launcher? Did I miss that when I was flying through? I don't think so. Yeah, missiles. Hmm. I'm going to have to watch. I'm going to probably find it and blow myself up. <laughs> Maybe I have to be on the missiles. It probably told me when I pulled out. But yeah, as far as I know, you could access them.
Very cool. Let's hop back up. Yeah, it does have that little bit of a blue, blue shine on the pearlescence on it. No, it doesn't really tell you when you come out, does it? Ah, oh, a mystery. I don't think you need other people for it. I wonder if it lets me hop on the sides without the other people. Nope. Oh, let's find it. All the way back here. Some of them, yeah, it looks like, no. Some of them you can hop in a different seating. Even with other people aren't around. Others, you actually need other people to be in your way for it to find the other seats. Oh, let's change weaponry. <laughs> yeah, and these uh, weapons, uh, these, let me change views here to find out. These windows are usually destroyed from shooting from the inside, too. So let's find out if that's the case. Yeah. So you don't want to shoot from the inside or else the windows just pop right out. And you'll do that, too. <laughs> so that armor protection only works from the outside in, not the other way. And I do not know how to access that grenade launcher. Alright guys, so yeah, so I just uh, had a quick look up and yeah, the uh, grenade launcher doesn't fire without a passenger. So, unfortunately, so if you're playing a solo player, you might want to just leave that off. But, you know, it's a nice little addition if you do have passengers. I sometimes have passengers. So, uh, now I've got that. So, apparently, you do need a passenger to be able to use that grenade launcher. Let me know if you know a way around that, but that's what I've been reading. Ooh, so let's dig it in. But at least those missiles are pretty handy as far as uh, rapid fire. And you can use your regular weapons in there. Not all armored vehicles let you use your weapons while you're seating in there. Yeah, well, very cool. So I think we're going to do our first mule custom cell. Yeah. So let's go do that. I think maybe we'll come right back for that. <laughs> well, thanks for watching our mule custom customization video, everybody. I'm the Wizard Sock. Uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you again soon. Yeah, well, right soon. I think uh, very next episode, I think we'll try out a big sale. Well, a medium sale. Our biggest sale. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. I'm going to go log into that computer, I guess. Yeah. See you back here in a minute. Let's see if it's ready to go. Preferably before I get over that limit that I need the MTL Pounder. So we're going to get that soon, maybe next. But uh, but I'm hoping I can fit this in before the limit. Yep, that's right. Well, let's get her done. <laughs> Take care, everybody.